Good morning, everybody. I'm enjoying this rain so much. It's great. We needed it, and it's going to bring a little bit of snow to our mountains and hopefully give us a little bit more water to farm with. In the U.S., uh, we are a nation of laws. We seem to have rules and laws for just about everything, from traffic violations to simple misdemeanors to even more serious crimes. Some of them are easy to follow. Some of them provide great difficulty to follow. Some laws seem that they're grounded in common sense, and other ones you just kind of shake your head and say, why was it ever written and put into place? With that, we often say that this law needs to be changed. But then on the other side, we kind of shake our head as well and throw our hands up in frustration and, said, and say to ourselves, there needs to be a law written for this. This is unjust. Well, before our nation was formed, God too saw the importance of laws. And since the days of Moses, he has given us the Ten Commandments to follow and to guide us. Today's reading calls us to do more than just obey the laws. The readings urge us to teach the laws to our children and our children's children, and to instill in them the importance of following God's law. I believe that our children, and for that fact, many around us will learn more by watching and interacting with us as we live our faith rather than us just talking about how important it is to follow God's commandments. During this time of Lent, it's a time of discernment, a time for reflection, a time for meditation. During this Lenten season, I encourage everyone to find some quiet time during each day and ask yourself, how is God calling me to live my life and to follow the commandments? through my actions and my words, so that those around me will know the importance of God's faith and laws and come to understand the true meaning of his teachings in our lives. Our faith is so much more difficult than simply professing it on the weekends. There has to be a personal reward for us. We have to realize that there is something much greater for us in the eternal life. This type of lifestyle should have a positive impact on those that we interact with, and it should speak volumes about the importance of our faith within us and how our relationship with God is built on a good, strong foundation. I believe that this type of teaching that God wants us to do, in fact, is important each day within our family lives and our civil lives as well. The fact is, God's law must be taught and shared. We need to share Christ's teachings. Christ came and he fulfilled these laws. He provided an example of his life lived completely by obeying the commandments and bringing them to life the way he lived it. The law is not just meant to be obeyed. We must share these laws and guide others on how to do the same. These readings may hit a personal note and especially a parental nerve. I know parents who feel the same because they have shared similar experiences with me. We provide a good education for our children. We provide a good faith-filled foundation to build upon as they're growing. We try our best to be living examples of faith to our children. But many of us have adult sons and daughters who seem to place little or no value on what we treasure within our faith. We worry about them, how they will deal with those big crises in their lives without faith or even a personal relationship with God. We see many of our grandchildren receiving the sacraments with little meaning to their parents beyond just a rite of passage. We must pray earnestly for our children and our grandchildren. We must try to avoid nagging the parents, but we must continue to provide a living example of trust and faith in God's love and His law, His commandments. We know that that gift of faith 
that we are given in the sacraments is deep within their hearts. Even if they are ignoring it, even if they put it aside for other things in this world. But most of all, we need to love them. We need to know that God loves them even more. We need to know that they may feel that God's laws and commandments are old fashioned and dated, but we must continue to pray for them. We must continue to follow God's laws and commandments of the church. Because at that time, when we reach heaven, we will be called the greatest in God's kingdom. That's what we desire. And that's what we desire in taking our children and our children's children with us as well to that kingdom in heaven.